Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Scorpios. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Scorpios. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much, as always, for your continuous love and support. It truly is an honor to have you here. And I definitely hope you all are evolving right along with me, beautiful souls. Thank you, soul family. And welcome back to my returning subscribers. Thank you all so much for your comments and your feedback down below. I appreciate you, loves, and welcome, Scorpio, to the ones that are new here. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. Definitely, if today's content fulfills your spirit, don't forget to subscribe, Scorpios. We would love to have you here as well, a part of our soul family. And be sure to adjust your notification bells for when I do go live on this platform as well. I do go live for all Zodiac sign readings and questions as well, if you have a question that you would love to ask Tarot. All right, so no further ado, Scorpios. Let's go ahead and dive into your love life, all right? Let's see who is in your energy here and why, all right? Let's see who is on your mind, Scorpios. Come on in. Let's go ahead and spit the deck here and see what do we have for Scorpio placements when it comes to love and romance. What's going on in Scorpio's love life here? What do Scorpios need to know? All right, so we have the Eight of Cups in reverse, all right? So this is your energy, Scorpio's energy here, also Cancer energy and Pisces energy here. Some of y'all, this person may be a water sign like yourself, but the Eight of Cups here indicates uh, a situation where someone is not wanting to let go, not wanting to walk away from uh, not wanting to no longer be in the space where they're wanting to exit the relationship here. Someone is having a difficult time either with letting you go, Scorpios, or wanting to let go of the relationship here. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups here. Let's see why. Normally, the Eight of Cups talks about no longer feeling emotionally fulfilled with the cups, but someone is obviously fulfilled or still emotionally fulfilled by you. They still want you around. They still want you in the relationship. They still have feelings for you. Clarify the Eight of Cups here in reverse. Yeah, look at that. We got the Six of Swords here. This is air elements here as well. Some of y'all, this person may be an air sign. They could be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. The Six of Swords talks about moving on, leaving a painful ending from their past here and being guided with the swords in the boat, which is the guardian angels here and being guided towards a new direction here. But again, someone here is not wanting to let that go or let that happen here, okay? Wow, so this could be an air sign, Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra that is having a difficult time with letting you go, Scorpio, or this could be a water sign like yourself, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio here. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups. Wow, did you see that card jump out like that? Somebody might be a little bit upset or agitated or frustrated because you're leaving as well. Wow, yeah, look at that. The Six of Swords comes back out in reverse, okay? Yeah, someone is definitely having a difficult time with letting you go. And some of you all, you are having a difficult time with letting this person go. There's a lot of love here between you two. There's obviously still feelings here between the both of you because it's like you both know what's best for you two. You may even both know what's best for this relationship is to let go and move on. But because you both still have feelings for each other, because you both or still seeing the relationship as something that could be fixed or adjusted here. You both still have hope basically for this relationship here for some of you all. So this is why it has been difficult to let go so quickly or right away here, okay? Wow, what else, Gordon Angels? What else does Scorpio need to know when it comes to their love life here? What else does Scorpio, thank you. We got here the four pinnacles. Yeah, this is earth elements here as well. 
Some of y'all, this person here may be an earth sign. They could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. All right, but the Four of Pentacles usually indicates someone that's holding back, not putting that much time or effort into the connection here, okay? So this could be what is going on or being what is taking place here, all right? You or this person may be holding back, but at the same time, knowing what needs to be done here, okay? Yeah, look at that, the Queen of Pentacles here. Some of y'all, again, this person could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo here, Okay, this could have been the mother or the father of your child here. This could have been an ex-spouse here of yours for some of you all as well. So let's see how do you feel, Scorpio? How do you feel towards this person here that's in your energy right now? How does Scorpio feel about this person here? How does Scorpio feel about this person here that's in their energy? Scorpio feel about this person here? I just Scorpio, thank you. We have wow, the four of swords. You still are trying to contemplate and you're meditating on this and just making sure that you're making the right decision here. I feel uh, again, this could be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here with the four of swords. But the four of swords talks about resting, healing meditating and i feel like this is a space that you're more wanting to focus on you're not putting again too much time or effort into the connection you're more focusing inward on yourself and what just matters to you and what makes sense to you with the four of pinnacles you're not even spending any money on this person you're not going out with this person you're holding all of those pinnacles to yourself and then you're being mindful and you're resting and you're healing and you're just trying to make things make sense here i feel like here because again this was a painful ending here for some of you all that you had to process and go through with this person here okay so let's see what this person here wants to say. Let's see how do they feel about this connection here with you. Let's see what are their hidden feelings here towards you, Scorpios. Wow, Scorpios, if the reading here so far is resonating for you, smash that like button, loves. That would be very much appreciated. That definitely helps the channel to grow and helps evolve the content here and get the message out in the algorithm. So that'd be very much appreciated by you smashing that like button. All right, it'll help the channel to grow and go a long way, all right? Let's see what is this person hitting feelings here towards you? What is this person hitting feelings towards Scorpio? What is this person hitting feelings here towards Scorpio at this time? What is this person hitting feelings here? Wow, we have, I will wait for a sign from you. So some of y'all, this person is like eager to come in. They're eager to talk to you, but they also know because of what has happened and transpired between you two in the past, they know not to step foot in your, your territory here. <laughs> okay, I would say, but someone is being mindful of that. Uh, someone is being patient. They're not trying to rush the situation. I feel like this is why there's a lot of meditating, a lot of contemplating and thinking here. I feel like for some of you all, this person has already came towards you here in the past with an offer to want to rekindle with the relationship with you. And I feel like this is something that you've been kind of meditating on, thinking about, kind of processing to see if this is something that you're wanting to do, I feel here. And so in the meantime, this person is going to wait for a sign from you. They're not going to want to rush the process here, okay? Yeah, look at that. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Isn't that crazy? Because that's what we mentioned here at the beginning of your reading here with the Eight of Cups. I remember mentioning that it's very hard for someone here to let you go. This has been very difficult for this person because they still have feelings and emotions for you here, okay? And then we had that Six of Swords to go in reverse here as well. So this can go both ways. This was very hard and difficult for both of you, I feel like, to let go of this connection or move on. This is something that I feel like neither one of you wanted to do right away, right? Wow. So let's see what else this person wants to say. I'm going to use my Raw Tarot Index cards here to see what else this person wants to say right now. And then we'll close out with some word advice, Scorpios. 
All right. Wow. We have, I want you, baby. Okay. Yeah. This person definitely wants you. Okay. I don't see this person wanting to go anywhere anytime soon, Scorpios. Okay. Let's see what else here. Wow. We have keep doing you. Okay. So your guardian angels and your ancestors here want you to know to keep doing you. Don't get discouraged here just because this person or this relationship did not work out to the highest potential that maybe you wanted it to. I'm sure it was a reason for that. Okay. So just be mindful of things that didn't work out in your favor. It's a reason for that. Think of that as protection. Okay. Um, and more availability opportunities for you when things Things did not work out your way. Just because things didn't work out with this person, Scorpio, does not mean that that is going to happen to the next relationship or opportunity that you have. And then we have you been on my mind, okay? So this person here has definitely had you on their mind here is why they're waiting to hear from a sign from you before they just, I feel like, come towards you here. They're going to wait for a sign from you, right? Let's see what else here. Wow, look at that. We got, I want you back, okay? So yeah, we could see that from the Eight of Cups being in reverse. They've already mentioned that they had a hard time letting you go. Yeah, look at that. I've been waiting. Another confirmation from the card that came out here earlier. I've been waiting on you. I will wait for a sign from you. So this person is definitely just waiting. They're being patient and waiting and they're not wanting to intervene because they know that they've already may have damaged their relationship as it is. Okay, so someone is being very mindful of their choices and trying to give you your space and your peace here as well. All right. Wow. So let's close out and get some word advice here. Let's see what word advice do your guardian angel and your ancestors have regarding this entire uh, circumstance or situation here. Wow, Scorpios. Again, if the reading has resonated, smash that like button. If you would love to book a personal reading to kind of see, well, what's next for you and this person? Or what is possibly the potential outcome since there has been a difficult time with letting either, you know, person go here if you would like to see more of the potential outcome uh, what's the opportunity here my email details are down below in the description box scorpios if you would love to book a personal reading all right so let's close out and get some more advice here for you today wow what a very detailed insightful reading for you today scorpios this person really opened up and expressed themselves to you today what word advice can Scorpio take away from this read? Wow, we got here success. Wow, I love it. Yes, well, congratulations in advance, Scorpio. You have success coming your way here. Whatever this is that you may have been putting in the effort, the time, the work, all right, your hard work is now about to be paid off. Uh, some of y'all, the relationship here may work out in your favor. Things are going to become very successful in this connection here due to possibly the understanding that you two now will have towards each other in the near future. All right. Wow, Scorpios, beautiful message here today. I'm going to leave this portion here. Again, if you would love to book a personal reading, my email details are down below. I am today available for personal readings. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. Again, subscribe, Scorpios. We would love to have you here, part of the family. Be sure to set those bells to be ready for when I go live on this platform. And if you would love to extend your stay and join our Patreon family or our OnlyFans page, those opportunities and links are down below in the home page description box as well. Thank you so much, Scorpios. And I wish you and this person here the best, my loves. Bye-bye.